Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be giving myself a nice fresh spring face and a chic red lip. And I wanted to also mention that uh, what I'll be using is Langome from, <laughs> probably Langome, um, from We Make Beauty. Uh, I have mentioned them on my channel before. WeMakeBeauty.com is kind of like an online TJ Maxx for luxurious makeup brands. So prestige makeup like Lancome, now that they're just starting to carry that, Dior, Guerlain, um, uh, Chanel, La Prairie. So, and they, and they do have some other um, mid-range lines too, but they have them at a discount and it's an, uh, and they are authentic because I know some people said, one or two people when I first mentioned them, they were like, is this like the real deal? And it's, yes, it's the real deal. But they get just certain products. So if they have like Clarins, they don't have the entire Clarins line. They'll have a selection of products. And it reminds me of like when you go to TJ Maxx and you're like so excited because you see Estee Lauder on the shelf, but there's only a few items. So um, I don't know if that's maybe a fair example comparison for them because they do have quite a good selection. But I guess what I'm saying is just because you saw it on the Sephora website does not necessarily mean it will be on the We Make Beauty website. But the point is that it is discounted and I have a discount and so I will uh, put that on the screen and down below in the description so that you can save even more. So sometimes what's really great is you can pick out an item and it's like 30% off when it comes right down to it. So, and they usually, if you sign up for their newsletter, they always have deals like take 20% off the site, you know, this weekend or something like that. Um, so I was sent a, they sent me to share with you guys. Um, I picked out the Tiant Idol makeup, which is a 24 hour makeup, wear and comfort, retouch free makeup, all skin types. I think you guys have seen this and even asked me about it because I was raving so much about the Estee Lauder double wear that somebody said, have you tried the Tiant Idol? Is it Idol? Idol? Um, I always mess up my, my like inflection, um, to try this. And I was like, yeah. So I got the shade 110, 210 buff, which is definitely my, like my pale shade. So I think when I first put it on, you'll be like, that looks really pale girl, but don't worry. I will warm it up a bit. And also it's perfect for me for winter. I think I might just still have some self tan left over. I know hard to believe because I still look very pale, but I might have some self tan left over from vacation. Um, so I actually, I went into um, Sephora and I swatched for myself the Lancome, Lancome foundations and then I went on the We Make Beauty website and I made my selection. So yeah. I don't know why that, I, I mean, that's totally, you know, totally acceptable to do. And I also, they sent me Rouge in Love um, lipstick. They have so many different lipsticks Lancome does and this is just the cutest packaging and this color is called um, Rouge Saint-Honoré, Honor, 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 uh, Saint, so Rouge Saint-Honor <laughs> and um, I didn't realize it was going to be so red but you know I love a red and it has of course the really pretty Lancome um, logo stamped on it and it smells like roses and it's just so pretty. So anyhow, let's do that. That sounds like fun. Okay, Rebecca, sure. I'm going to um, uh, remove my hair back for starters and I'm going to use my Umbrellas creme. Creme? What the heck? Um, apparently I'm trying to be French now. And I don't know why I always lately feel like I need to put on at least two primers. Um, okay. Oh, that like really skipped this time. I haven't been using this because I keep using my Nivea Post Shave Balm, but I feel like this is such a good basic moisturizer. 
I'm also, this is why I use two primers. I know I made fun of myself in my um, sarcastic tutorial, but I can't help but use like one for, you know, like just moisturizing and other kind of purposes. And then I have to wear my Becca Backlight primer. I have to. <laughs> And I like to apply it generously. I feel like going kind of old school today and using the Sigma Angled Kabuki F84. Um, I forget about my Sigma brushes. I'm so into my beauty blender and my artist brushes that I forget about my Sigma foundation brushes. Okay, so let's get this baby on. Like I said, it's going to be a little pale, so... Um, also, it is really good coverage, and it's supposed to be, obviously, long wear if it says 24 hours. So, yeah. This is definitely good when you want that, like, excellent coverage. Like, let us not, let us, let us turn up the beat. Let's not mess around, you know? Like, let's do real, real deal makeup. <laughs> intense coverage right clearly covering every everything I mean this little red I don't know what this is I don't know that might be like a little rosacea bump um I never get that right there um but wow talk about coverage yeah Ever trusty Maybelline Age Rewind Brightener, and I'm going to put that in the corner. I love this brush. I will try to remember to link and list the brushes below that I use. I realize I do not do that. And now we use my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm doing all this before powder and I'm just gonna put this where I need it ha 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 let's see here do I want to use my beauty blender all right then I always like to extend my concealer up to my temple okay so it goes it settles a little bit in this forehead expression line. Um, that's very typical for me. I was at Rite Aid and I saw this powder and I was like, ooh, I should get that. I've never seen that before. And then I'm like, nah, I'm good. And then I went back to that Rite Aid and I'm like, where's that powder? And it was gone. And I have not been able to find it. And it's the L'Oreal. L'Oreal makes a loose powder. Not the mineral foundation powder. A loose powder. And I'm like, where is that? I want to try it. And I found it at Walmart. So I got the shade uh, translucent. Did I get translucent? No, I got light. Um, and I, I'm just so excited about this, you guys. I think it was $9.99. Um, and I love finding drugstore powder that is good. And because I've been really raving over all that RCMA lately. And this is technically more expensive than the RCMA, but it might be easier to find. It might be harder to find. Who knows? It was like a unicorn. It was like, it, it, I'm telling you, I cannot find it in a Walgreens. I can't find it at Fred Meyer. I can't find it at Tar I cannot find it anywhere I find L'Oreal. And then there it was on the bottom shelf at uh, Walmart. Okay, so I just powdered up my face there. Nothing special. No baking. Oh, but a cupcake sounds good right now. I am going to take my Hourglass Ambient Light Powder and I'm going to take the Diffuse Light, or at least what I think is Diffuse Light because it changes. Is it the Dim Light or the Diffuse Light? I think it's the Diffuse Light. Because I want this look to be just sort of beautiful and special. I'm using this one right there which does come in a single. It really warms up the skin. Wow. 
Okay, I'm gonna use my Physician's Formula Quad. She love this guy. I'm gonna do sort of the usual, you know, and then I'll show you the fun stuff. That's my brush that smells. I'm like, what? That smells good. I clean my brushes. <laughs> that smells good. So it would be great to get on the We Make Beauty website, the Definisils Mascara. And the, I think they have the Biofacil uh, Eye Makeup Remover. I know that there's people who are die hard, die hard loyal users of those. And they have it. Now I'm going to use Makeup Geek. And I'm gonna use Barcelona Beach. And I am just going to get that in here. I'm going to do like a wing eye and uh, some false lashes and some really groomed eyebrows. All right, I'm going to take this color here, graphite. Did I use Barcelona Beach? Yes. I know I'm not supposed to like blow on my makeup, but it's my makeup. Okay, so I'm going to take graphite and I'm taking like a smaller brush and I'm just going to kind of put it in the crease. I guess graphite's not really springy. But I just want to have like classic eye makeup and then have my skin and lips be the, the focal point. And I'm going to blend. I'm going to take just a smaller um, shade brush and put Barcelona Beach right here. I'm just gonna use my lower lid. I am going to take some Fix Plus on a brush. Where did you go? Oh, right here. Let's see. And I'm gonna put it in the, um, Gold, Beverly, Beverly, Soft Gold, and Anastasia, Anastasia, Beverly Hills. And I am going to pack that here. I fill in my eyebrows. I'm just using my Ardell, um, um, this is the, it's like a dupe to the Anastasia Brow Definer. It's got the, the thicker end. Whoops. Let's blend out that gold just to kind of soften where it meets the graphite. And then I'm gonna take um, a new pencil, where are you? Um, a Milani Ultra Fine ink pen, liner pen.
I'm just taking a angled brush and I'm going over it to just make sure that the line isn't crooked. I'm going to go back to my hourglass palette and I'm going to use the bronzer. And do you see now how the color, the lot of the, do you see how the Lancome uh, foundation is like my perfect shade now? It totally warmed up to my skin. It wasn't as pale as I thought. Got a little carried away. That's okay. I'm gonna just go into this blush color here. And of course, I am going to do my Anastasia Glow Kit. What's the brush I like for it though? Where are you? There you are. You guys, I did not take my glow kit on vacation and I missed it. I'm just gonna throw on some Estee Lauder Sumptuous Lash Mascara. Sumptuous Extreme. So I am back now with my lashes on and my finished mascara, eyebrows, that kind of thing. I had some technical difficulties with my eyelashes. I think I got lash glue in my eye. Like my eye was tearing up like it was bad. So we had a little runny mess going on. But I wanted to share with you guys something I discovered. Well, somebody told me about. It was the makeup artist with my friend that did my makeup, um, the MAC artist. And we were talking about eyelashes. And she goes, oh, I go on the website Shop Miss a. Um, she's like, my eyelashes are a dollar. What? So the eyelashes I'm wearing, see how flirty and not very big they are, um, are Kara eyelashes, but this is on the shopmissa.com website, which I will list for you. These are the Kara eyelashes. These are human hair. Yeah, a dollar. So I got a bunch of styles and these were probably the smallest, most natural style. And I really think I like them. I just trimmed them a bit, but, and I love a spring red lip. So let's try this color. This is like brand new, haven't used it yet. Oh, so cute. It feels so good. I should have lined first, but whatever. I'm gonna eat some chips and guac and really test how long it wears. <laughs> okay, so there you have it, my springtime classic chic red lip look. It's year round and you know it, but I just put spring, so you know, I'll be relevant, right? <laughs> um, and of course, We Make Beauty introduces Lancome and I hope you check out the We Make Beauty site and use my discount code if you do. And definitely leave me a comment, click like, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you again soon. Okay, bye. Hmm.